Batman Beyond is a character that is loved by so many superhero fans and has a fan base that is rooting for a cinematic debut more than people rooting for the Charlotte Hornets. Because we have had so many different Batman movies come out over the years and Marvel is having a lot of success with making movies of different variations of Spider-Man. Therefore, it makes sense that it would be time to make a movie about a different variation of Batman. Well, guess what? That Batman Beyond movie that everyone wants was going to happen both in live action and animation, but those films got shut down before anything could get started. So yeah, but let me explain quickly what happened with the live action Batman Beyond. Beyond movie first. So the live action version was supposed to be directed by Boyaz Yakin, and the script was going to be written by the same guys who wrote the 1999 animated series. Because the premise of this film was supposed to follow the series, which was that a really old Bruce Wayne in 2039 is trying his best to mentor Terry McGinnis to be the best Batman he can be and go beyond what the original Batman was capable of doing. And the man that would have played Bruce Wayne in this movie was going to be Michael Keaton. And apparently he was really excited and wanted to take on playing a more dark and gritty Batman. So all the stars were aligning perfectly. However, Michael Keaton's Batman was also in The Flash. And the reason why this is important is because according to Michael Uslan, who is a producer on numerous DC movies including the Batman Beyond movie, he was going to go through with making this film if The Flash movie did well at the box office. And the reason why is because he wanted to actually see if there was demand for Michael Keaton to come back as Batman. But unfortunately, The Flash bombed at the box office, so hope for a live action Batman Beyond movie began to dwindle. But to add the nail to the coffin, the Beyond movie went from dwindling to officially being cancelled in January 2023, presumably because James Gunn just became the CEO of DC Studios and decided to scrap the movie because it didn't align with his vision. So that's the brief history of the live action Batman Beyond movie, but what about animation? Surely that should be easier because it costs less and production is a lot more smoother. Well guess what? That was also going to happen, but the movie got shut down before a pitch was even heard. So let me explain. Five months ago, Patrick Harpin, who is a storyboard artist, was going to make his directorial debut with an animated Batman Beyond movie. And he tried pitching it to Warner Brothers and DC, but before he could even say a word, the big daddies at DC said that there was no way they can make a Beyond movie, but they listened to the pitch anyways. And after they heard the outline of the movie, the producers thought that they can maybe make the movie as opposed to never make the movie at all. But what sucks is that Yuki Demers, who is the guy who worked in the art department for both Spider-Verse movies, showed concept art of what the animated Batman Beyond movie would look like. And it looks legendary. It looks amazing. And it genuinely baffles me how DC could say no to a Batman Beyond animated movie. But hey, they have their reasons. Besides, the director is still trying to work his way up DC to get the chance to talk to James Gunn about this movie. So hopefully something can happen because it's about time Batman Beyond gets a chance to shine. And I think animation is the way to go. So yeah, thanks for watching.